Hello people, my name is Ben, and this week I've been playing Demon's Souls. Not Demon's Souls, because that would be too easy to say. Demon's Souls. Plural, and souls that belong to the demons. Which makes sense, because that's what's referenced most in the game. It just doesn't make for a great title, honestly. Anyway, you guys know that I've uh, played and beaten uh, Dark Souls and its DLC and also Dark Souls 2, which was quite the disappointment. Um, it's a good game, not a great Souls game though, and uh, after playing uh, quite a bit of Demon's Souls, uh, I can safely say that it solidifies my kind of disappointment with that game, because it's like, you made two fantastic games and then it just kind of went downhill, but now it's probably going to go uphill with Miyazaki coming back for Bloodborne and such. I'm very, very excited for that. So, Demon's Souls is... I'm not sure if it's harder than Dark Souls. It might be, because like if I think if I started out with this one and I had no Souls experience, then I th it, it would definitely be harder to get into. The uh, UI and stuff takes quite a bit of getting used to. Uh, it's definitely the worst of all the three games. Uh, Imagining this game with the good things from Dark Souls and Dark Souls 2, the things that those games did right, uh, which in terms of Dark Souls was most things, Dark Souls 2 was a few things, uh, like the uh, much better menu system, it would be amazing, it would be really, really good. I am enjoying almost every part of the game. There are a few bosses that I just don't like. Uh, I didn't really like the spider one, but it was fair. I, I just personally didn't like it. I thought it was a bit too cramped. It was, it was cool boss, though. It was a cool design. Um, and obviously, I hated the dragon guard, <laughs> which is such a shame because it's such a badass, awesome design uh, that could make for a great fight, and then they go and do the kind of bed of chaos style thing. Not quite that bad, but it's still pretty goddamn bad. It actually took me longer to do than the Bed of Chaos, which is fairly surprising. Uh, at least the Bed of Chaos the first time. When I tried it again on New Game Plus, my god, did I get stuck. It was just terrible. Anyway, uh, that and then the Maiden one w with a uh, Galvinlent or whatever the fuck is called. It just felt incredibly cheap. Uh, poorly designed, not great areas to fight in. Then you've got the Plague. That's always fun and you aren't able to maneuver about if you even touch the swamp bit, so yeah. That wasn't really fun, not, not at all, it was very boring, and then I ended up beating it in the best way possible, which I might make a highlight out of, you'll see. Anyway, uh, so far though, the design, just how fun it is for me to play, it's about as fun, maybe a little bit less so than Dark Souls. I still really love Dark Souls. I think Dark Souls is almost objectively the better game. Uh, just like it feels tighter, feels better. Uh, Gameplay-wise, I think it's a bit better. And then uh, it's got more weapon variety and doesn't have stupid uh, gender-specific armor sets, which is kind of a ridiculous thing that this game does have. And it also has more weapons and such, uh, although it doesn't have as many different upgrade paths like this, which I, I quite like the amount of upgrade paths, although it is confusing and daunting for new players, That no doubt about that. But Demon Souls is pretty damn good. It, I will not dispute the fact that it has much better atmosphere. It does have greater atmosphere than Dark Souls, that's for sure. Um, the atmosphere is thicker, it's darker, it's more depressing, and that's great, and that's something that it has over it, but I think that um, that gameplay and all of the other things that Dark Souls did right and expanded upon really make up for the lack of atmosphere in that game. I mean, a atmosphere is really nice, it's a great thing to have and can engross you in the world more, but everything else about Dark Souls engrossed me in it anyway, so I don't really necessarily need the atmosphere, although it is great to have in this game. Uh, I'm not too sure which I like more in terms of the design, like uh, having the base of the Nexus and then going out to various different places, or just having one huge overworld. Uh, the Nexus, it makes most areas less confusing, I guess, uh, than Dark Souls was. But 
just the way all the levels wrapped around in Dark Souls, the, well, the way the entire world wrapped around on itself, it was just beautifully done, and it isn't really done too much in this game. Still way better level design than Dark Souls 2, because it, like, the individual areas do kind of connect in various ways, and there are little shortcuts here and there, uh, which Dark Souls 2 did not have and just kind of neglected, like, oh, let's just put bonfires everywhere, that makes up for the lack of cool shortcuts, right, guys? No, no, it does not at all. Uh, because it's just nowhere near as cool or as like well thought out as something like Dark Souls or Demon's Souls. Overall, though, having a lot of fun with it. Um, I especially when I'm able to do stuff like beat the Flame Lurker without any deaths. When everybody was like, "He's gonna get his shit pushed in," or various other phrases of that nature, you can get the shit kicked out of him. And then I do it without any deaths, and it was one of the most satisfying things. It was really, really good. Um, very much enjoyed that fight as well. I've enjoyed most of the fights in this game. Uh, there's a pretty good variety. Um, is there as much as Dark Souls? I'm going to have to like check back on all of the bosses of both of these games and really decide on that. Uh, it might be even. I know Dark Souls probably has more bosses, um, so I, I don't know. I might have preferred that. And also, of course, I love the bonfire system in Dark Souls. I think it's a fantastic system. And I also love the Estus Flask system. That's... Oh, I, I love that improvement. Because it means that... Because in Demon's Souls, when you run out of healing items, you can farm for them, you can buy them with more souls. And yeah, I guess that adds to the challenge, but it also adds to the annoyance, honestly. And that's a real shame. Uh, the fact that you are able to farm and that... You know, you're not punished for doing something like that. That is incredibly boring. Uh, I think it's a shame, and that's why they did such a great thing with introducing the Estus Flask system, and then they kind of fucked it all up again in Dark Souls 2 by introducing other things that also healed you, as well as the Estus Flasks, for no real reason, and that was just incredibly stupid. The Estus Flask system, Flask system was perfect the way it was, and I don't think it needed to really be messed with at all. Uh... Yeah, that, that's about it. But yeah, so that's Demon's Souls. I've been enjoying it. Uh, I'm recording this on the day just before we are about to do um, the Tower of Latria, which I've saved to last because everybody's saying it's one of the most amazing things. So honestly, my opinion of the game might even go up and up. I'm not... I would be surprised, honestly. From Soft, you are great people you make some really ugly things sometimes in a great way as in oh god that's so gross but in other times it's like oh god that texture work is just <clears throat> it's just terrible um but they make up for it in gameplay and level design and overall excellence in most other areas uh, just incompetence and a few others but i've come to expect that and when you get used to that which unfortunately you do have to. I'm hoping that they'll work on that stuff with uh, Bloodborne. Uh, when you get used to that, uh, you just enjoy the rest of the game so, so, so much. Uh, most of all the areas are very well designed, other than uh, 1 2, which isn't all that great at all, in my honest opinion, and quite a few other people's. Anyway, that is Demon's Souls. Next week, what will I be playing? I'm not sure. Maybe it'll be Ico and Shadow of the Colossus. Maybe both in one week. Maybe we'll separate them. I am not too sure, but I'm very excited with whatever I choose. Uh, but the fact that those are possibilities makes me very happy because I've not beaten either of those games. So, yeah. Anyway, thank you so much for watching, and goodbye. <laughs>